Hi, I'm Vladimir Elistratov. I'm the developer of the Blender Awesome add-on. I'd like to show how to use the Asset Package Editor. It's the latest feature of the Blender Awesome add-on. It allows to set custom textures for the buildings. So here's an example of using custom textures to import a district in San Francisco. And here's the same area imported with the default textures. Let's install the latest version of the Blender Awesome add-on. Edit, preferences. If you have an older version of the add-on, delete it. So uncheck it and press remove. Now restart Blender. And after restarting Blender, get the files blossom.zip and assets.zip using the link in your purchase confirmation email. Unpack the file assets.zip to the folder assets. So back to the installation, press install, find the file blossom.zip, check it, set the folder for downloaded OpenStreetMap and terrain files. If you didn't have that folder before, create it first. Now set the path to the assets. It's an unpacked version of the file assets.zip. Press accept. And now scroll to the very bottom of the add-on settings. You should have an option, enable experimental features. Check it. And now you switch between Preferences and Asset Package Editor. Before proceeding with setting custom textures, let's download some textures. Go to the website textures.com, Library, Buildings, High Rise, At the moment, the Asset Package Editor is suited for high-rise buildings only, but later it will be expanded for other types of buildings. Okay, let's see Office. It's important that the textures used for the Blender OS Summit Dawn are seamless, so you can press the filter, Show Seamless Textures Only. You can use your own textures, so you don't need to download the textures from the site textures.com, but it's important that they are seamless. To download a texture, please log in or register. Let's return to the Asset Package Editor. Press the button Load Asset Package List. Let's extend the window. The textures are organized in asset packages. There is the default asset package. It contains the default textures. It's read only, so it's not possible to edit the default package or remove it. Let's create another asset package by copying the default one. Press the button copy. Let's edit the name of the folder. Call it my folder. The name of the package again my folder, it will be used in the list of the asset packages and the description. My first asset package and press apply. Note that the folder my folder will be created in the directory assets. Now press the button Edit Package. So we have here 
a list of all textures. The textures at the top of the list are for facades and the textures at the bottom of the list are for cladding and they are used for roofs and for facades as well. So I suggest to remove the textures used for facades. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six. The first six textures. So remove it, remove it, remove it. We can press, we can uncheck the button, show this dialog and it will be faster. So we removed all facade textures, but don't worry, the textures will be preserved on your local drive. They were removed only from the asset package. Now add one of the custom textures to the asset package. Press the button New, set the path to the texture. Okay, let's use this texture. Specify the building use. There are currently two building uses I available apartments and office. So this texture is used for office buildings. And also note that the texture will be copied to the folder assets, my folder. Okay, now we should choose the asset category. There is a choice between two items, building part and cladding. So our texture represents a building part. Now we should choose which building part it represents. There is a choice between two items, level and curtain wall. It represents a level. So I should explain the next three fields. We should pick up a feature on the texture and specify its field in meters. Typically a feature represents a window, but it could be any feature. So let's assume that the width of the window of our feature on this texture is equal to one meter. So we set the feature width in meters to one meter. Next, we are supposed to set the left coordinate in pixels and the right coordinate in pixels for our feature. I open our texture in GIMP and use the guides to find the coordinates. So the left coordinate of our feature has the coordinate 82, here is the coordinate, and the right coordinate of our window has the coordinate 170, so it's 82 and 170. Okay, let's enter those values. The left coordinate is 82. The right one is 170. So I'll repeat. We should pick up a feature, it's typically a window, and set the width of this feature in meters. So I assume that the width of the window is one meter. And then we should set the left and right coordinates in pixels for our feature the window in our case. So the left coordinate is 82 and the right coordinate is 170. Okay, what's next? Number of tiles horizontally. 
So we should count how many tiles we have in our texture. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. In number of tiles vertically. One, two, three, four. And the last parameter has transparent parts to use cladding texture. Our texture doesn't have any transparent part. So we uncheck this checkbox. So we are ready with our first texture. We can press the button save and proceed to the next texture. Let's set a texture for a glassy building. Press the button U. The texture is used for an office building. Now set the path to the texture. Wait, we got an error. The maximum file name length is 27 characters. OK, let's shorten the file name of the texture. OK, let's try it again. It works great. Now set the asset category, its building part. And for the field building part, we should choose curtain wall. Curtain wall is a term used by architects for a glassy building. And now set the next three fields. Let's open our texture in GIMP. So let's pick up a feature. It is limited by the GIMP guides. like this. It must not be very precise. Okay, let's assume that the width of our feature is 1 meter. So set the feature width in meters to 1 meter. Now let's see the left and right coordinates of our feature in pixels. So the left coordinate is 112 and the right coordinate is 226. Okay, let's enter those values. The left coordinate is 112, and the right coordinate is 226. Okay, now let's count the number of tiles horizontally. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we have three tiles vertically. We don't have, we don't have a transparent part in our texture. So the field has transparent parts to use cladding texture is already unchecked. OK, we are done with our second texture. You can add the other textures yourself. The more textures you add, the more realistically the final scene will look like. I will post the links to the textures from the textures.com so you can reproduce the final result. But don't forget to press the button Save at the end of your editing. OK, let's return to Blender. I already prepared the scene. It's a terrain with the satellite imagery. I'll post the coordinates to the description of the video. So again, you can reproduce the result. And there is a new field here. It's called Asset Package. 
So we can see only the default asset package. And to get our package with the name my package, press the button refresh. Okay, it's here. Okay, we are ready to press the button import. After a few seconds, the import is finished. We already saw that result in the beginning of the video. So that's all for now. Please let me know what you think. It's only the first release of the asset package editor. New features will be added later, so stay tuned. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.